Hey, so welcome to another quick New Brighton Capital educational video. And what we're going to be going through in this video is how to generate the end of financial year report from CoinSpot. So whether you're doing this for your self-managed super fund or a company or individually, uh, this is how you get that end of financial year report from CoinSpot. So let's get started. So once you log in, what you want to do is have a look over to the top right hand side where this green arrow is pointing, that little uh, icon of the person, click that, you'll get a bit of a drop down box. What you want to do is scroll down to order history. There you go, click that, and then you'll be uh, presented with this page, which will have this whole your whole list of all your order history for this account. And what we want to have a look here is again over to the right uh, for EOFY balances. EOFY stands for end of financial year. So that's what we're after. So you click that. You'll get another drop down box selecting a year. So just choose whichever year it's referring to. We want 2019. So this refers to uh, the end. So the financial year that ended in the calendar year of 2019. So if you're doing the tax return for the financial year 2018, 2019, then you want to click 2019. And then it'll pop up like this. So this will be your statement. Uh, now, what you want to do is generate a PDF here so that you can upload it on to the portal. Um, I've, we have requested to have a PDF download button added by CoinSpot, but if it's not there yet, what you want to do is again, look over to the right hand side, you'll see a print button. You want to press print. And uh, depending on the computer that you're on, what you want to do is create a PDF from here. So how you do that on a Mac is once you do click print, uh, at the bottom here you have an open PDF in preview and then you'll be able to open up it, the file as a PDF, uh, save it and download it. So what you do once you actually have the PDF of your report, you need to upload that to the New Brighton Capital portal uh, if you're doing this for, as an SMSF client. So you go basically onto your portal you can see the cryptocurrency investments there is item number three. You, what you want to do is open that. You'll see a bit of a scroll down box. And if you scroll down, you'll see upload or type note. What we want to do here is upload a file. So if you do just click the upload file button there, you can find the PDF in uh, your recent downloads or wherever you've saved it. And you double click it or literally just drag and drop it into uh, the file and then you'll see it upload on your portal there. So once that is uploaded, the other things that you do need to do uh, for the New Brighton Capital reporting is uh, type a note for your API keys and also your withdrawal addresses. So we've got other videos on how to actually uh, do all that. So just follow the instructions there, but basically you'll have the information there with the API keys, the key and the secret and the holding addresses. So anything that you've sent off the exchange, we just need the address that you've sent those coins to so we can match it up on the blockchain to make sure that those funds are still there. Uh, and so that's it. That's how you generate the end of financial year report from CoinSpot. Any queries, let us know and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.